Hey yo, and welcome to Callum Squad, and welcome to the meme review. Yeah, it's time, and not only is it a meme review, it's the first meme review in my new corner. It's a new start for the meme review. I'm ready for it now. I've gone at the days where I get triggered at them and they just wind me massively up. I mean, it was understandable. You know, at best, your YTPs make me look like a bit of a twat. At worst, they make me look like a massive racist nonce. But I'm leaving that behind now. You know, I'm in the new kitchen. I'm sitting here sopping on a frothy coffee. My mum and my sister are no longer here to bother me. It's gonna be fine, we're gonna get stuck in, and we're gonna enjoy it. All right, you should know how it works by now, but what I'm gonna do is type Callum's Corner YTP into YouTube search, and we're gonna watch all the YTPs that you guys have uploaded over the last month, and wanted to get the biggest reaction, are gonna be in the meme with you. Okay, I found something that looks right for watching. It's called YTP Callum's Corner gets his toaster stash raided, and gets revenge. Um, that's what's kind of pulled me in, that last bit on there. I love the idea of me getting revenge. Um, and actually, it's quite realistic. I do have a toaster stash. I've got like 10, 11 of them all lined up on top of my kitchen cabinets from where you sent them to me. Uh, I'm saving them for a vlog or something. So yeah, this one has pulled me in. Also, it's by a guy called Chet Greg, who has previously set a very high standard in terms of YTB. So all of the ingredients are there for a possibly very good YTP. So, yeah, let's give it a go. Hey, 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 and welcome to Callum's Corner. I am so, so sorry. It's been so long since my last YTB. I bid my time and formed a hey, toaster stores. Weeks of toasters squirrels away. Here are my toasters. I am gonna do all my toasters into the lawsuit. Yes! I love toasters! This is the Tesco Fraud Department. Open up. Fraud Department? Oh, shit! Uh, no. No, you got that wrong, Chef Greg. I mean, kudos, it's a very involved meme. Like, the, the visuals are incredible. But yeah, I've got that right back to front. Tesco are on my side in all this. They wouldn't be knocking on my door. They're knocking on your doors. Thank you very much. Give us back our toasters, you little sod. No, I will not. Nah. Jesus. My toasters. Where are my toasters? I can beat it! I can beat it again! Hey, up, and welcome to Callum's Corner. You mean I've had it with with Tesco's? Do you know what I found today is a message from Tesco's because I messaged them a while ago saying, "Look, give me up. my toasters." And they've come back. And they said, "Oh no, we can't do that, Callum. Would you like some free quavers? Are you taking the piss, Tesco's? Do you think I need another packet of fucking quavers? My life has been ruined by this. This is my ultimatum. I will come for you. I'm taking away your power. A final solution. What do you want? Uh, yeah, please, perhaps you can help me. What the fucking shit have you done the mic for? Playing your fucking mouth, mate, to my grown man. Uh, my surname's Adams. But you sent me a message first, yeah? I live in Smevic, Birmingham, if you want the fucking ball. It's awful, we really need to stop this now. Come down, Smevic, that's for Danny G. Can we, can we just stop this? Shut up, you dickhead, now fuck off, don't send me another message. Uh, no, uh, you've involved a whole other meme in this now. That's that angry Danny Smevic block. Danny G from Smevic, like... Uh, it's too much, it's too many memes going on. Like, just stick to one meme. All these crossovers. Fuck off! And that, that was exactly what I wanted to hear. Fraud department? You're in trouble now, aren't you? Dirty little fraud department. It's time to get revenge.
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, for... <laughs> uh, no, no. I've, I've been to Birmingham a couple of times and it looks not like that, I tell you. That's far too clean. Oh no. Jesus. Roll, man. You sent me a message first, yeah? I live in Snavic, Birmingham. If you want the fucking door, come down to Snavic, ask for Danny G. I'll come to the house and I'll take the fucking your legs. You know what the Good riddance, Callum. No, I don't know what happened there. Did I call him like an airstrike or something? This, uh, I don't want to say I'm enjoying it because it's weird and stuff, but it is mesmerizing. I don't think I've ever seen a meme with a storyline like this before. Oh god, I'm dead. Yes! My toasters! <laughs> Die now, please. No! Wow. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, wow, I don't know what to say. I've never watched a YTP like that with a, such an involved storyline. I was, yeah, that really drew me in. That is the new standard. That was like a, that was like bloody TV or something, not like a YTP. Chad Gregg, like, massive congratulations. That is probably the best YTP that I've ever watched. Well, certainly the one that I've got into the most. Yeah, amazing stuff. That's, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I'm a little bit shook by that. Okay, next up, we're going to watch Callum's Corner causes the outbreak after a horrendous experience at the club. Um, we're going to watch this, one, because it's by TGM, who's made some horrendous memes before, and number two, because, like, the coronavirus and the co-op are, like, kind of two of my areas of expertise, if you will, you know. If I was going on Mastermind, I might choose those as my specialist subject. So, it's pulled me in, and we're going to watch it. Uh, let's see what it's about. Hey, yeah, you and welcome to Corona God. Uh, welcome to the blog. I'm so sorry if this video is like the stability of my 4G is absolutely hear me. A shit. <laughs> I've had an incredibly stressful morning. I've just done the marijuana food shop and it was an absolute bag of ass. What's my head changing? How have you done that? Come on, actually dancing. Why here are Chinese people in England and so stupid, so worse. I get up early, I'm walking to the co ops, right, and the date is lovely, right? I got hailed on the way to see you. I don't know. No, 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 no. You're going too far with the racism stuff. Like, it used to be that you're trying to. <laughs> you know, edit a couple more words together to make it sound a bit like I said something racist. Now you've got me openly bloody saluting to Hitler. You need to calm it down. You need to calm it down. The racism is too far. I, I walk in through the front doors of the cop and it's a nightmare. Yeah. It took me 15 minutes just to push my trolley into the marijuana style. I'm getting jostled. Jostled. Left, right, and centre by a filthy Chinese person. This Chinese person is in for it. At this point, I've instinctively ended up spitting on their face. Yes. And before I know it, I've come up workers. Well, I'm with my bloody ear. My ear. He starts pulling me. Yeah. Like I'm a naughty little pedo. It's ridiculous. Do you know what she says, right? Look, I hate Chinese people or something. She looks at me in an aggressive manner and she says, Excuse me. I don't. What? A shit. It's a bag of ass today. If I did not get out. 
they will be going to prison. Stupid! No, 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 you really are going too far with all this. What the hell is this on the screen? Ah, uh, just got this. You made it look like I tweeted out. Absolutely sick of the Chinese scumbags that are really testing my patience there and was got arrested for doing what any normal person would do. That's obviously like a bloody Katie Hopkins tweet or something that you've made it mine, that. Ah, oh, God, uh, yeah, the visuals, again, are excellent. You guys have massively set up the quality of your memes, but this is so openly racist. It makes me very uncomfortable because it's me doing it. it. Makes it look like it's me doing it. No play. Chinese. Muffy. I want to kill them all. You raging. No, I hate Americans. Yes! Absolutely magnificent. Toss pot. Hey, yo. And welcome to Gallup's Corner. This is coronavirus. Uh, let's turn you around so you can see the ingredients. Uh, uh, these are the ingredients that I will be using to make coronavirus. Now, wow, you will absolutely need five eight niggers. You will absolutely need six semen. Lightly or unsalted. You will absolutely need a big tub of a spicy Jewish people. And you will absolutely need a tin of condensed milk. Discharge from my sister's body. And the other mandatory is the ginger pubic hair. Okay, let's begin. So you want to deposit all of your date niggers into a bowl and you want it to be something that's willing to take some punishment. Uh, right, this is the exact consistency that we are striving for. Usually, oh, a shit. Boost. Boost. <laughs> hey up, oh yeah, and welcome to Gallows Co on Troll Room. And in a little while, I'm gonna be going to fire a you on China. I'm back. A shit, I can die fire now. Practical nuke incoming! <laughs> Outsmart me in any way and best me in a criminal manner is absolutely ridiculous. Like, that man can't even rob an old woman's house without it getting caught. There's no way he's getting one over on me. They're giving me a mind to treat here. Uh, this is too long. This is annoying me. I am living shit. I can die off. Absolutely magnificent. <laughs> a shit! Uh, no, 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 no. I don't like all this coronavirus stuff. I was warning people about this. I was, you know, one of the first people telling you, you know, you've got to be prepared for it. And I even got me getting ill with it. That would never happen. Uh, I would shrug it off with no hassle. Like, the reason I'm so careful is for you guys. Uh, the signs of me and stuff. If I got it, yeah, I'd shrug it off. I'd definitely be a super seeder. Super spreader. Like that. I, I'm big. I'm six foot five. I eat a lot. I breathe a lot. I, you know, flatulence. I, I sweat a lot. Like, I will be giving off those pheromones with disease. Like, I don't get infected for you guys, basically. I'm basically walking so you guys can run. Uh, this is this is too long. Like, it should have been. There's like, feel like there's loads of different stories in it. And it's too much. <coughs> Okay, yeah, I, that's more like the memes that I'm used to, just massively making me look like I'm a racist, bloody, genocidal maniac, I guess, trying to give people the coronavirus. Yeah, well done TGM, it was absolutely filthy, and the visuals, I guess, like all of it, was very well put together, I just don't like the storyline of that one. Okay.
Right, I found what I'm watching next. It's called YTP Callum's Corner Burns Eddie Alive Toss Pot Rework in brackets. And I'll tell you for why we're watching it. It's that little bit in brackets at the end there. It's angered me. Toss Pot Rework. I mean, what the hell do you think these are? This isn't the Beatles White Album that these remastering. These are filthy, dirty little YTPs that definitely don't need to be reworked or remastered. So yeah, we're going to watch it and I'm going to judge it even more harshly than I normally would because of that. Annoying little bit at the end there. Bloody rework, my ass. Right, here we go. Nah! He is a legend. Nah, nah! Lacey admits it, you know, inflated ego, tiny feet, that's toss pot. Okay. Sauce. Hey up, oh well, yep, and welcome to Isis Corner. An honour. Tic tac, you did. I did not want to have to make this video. Royal. I'm a man of awful, 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 my word, and you've got until midnight tonight. Yeah, I'm night. If I haven't received a message by the time I wake up tomorrow, I lie! Well, it's, there's going to be scenes. There's going to be massive scenes. Um, um, Pack of tic tacs in front of me. Hear me, me. It's happening. It's not too late for you to stop it. I mean, I'm asking to give me money for nothing. I'm telling you that I will work for you. We'll take this head and we can touch this head. We could do these adverts. You know, I've been thinking about it. And it could be like the Nescafe Gold Blend adverts where there's some lovely ladies wanting some tic tacs. I don't have any. I'm wondering from the flat in the apartment next door and be like, hey, Tic Tac is here. Hey, uh, I'm willing to dress with you here or just rape me and you give me AIDS. This is what the people want. It's what everyone wants. It's what I need. I want to show you my good side, Tic Tac, but there are two sides to me and you're making me show you my dark side. Tomorrow is the day of retribution. Christ, no, I don't. You get it, you're taking liberties. You know I don't want bloody Elliot Roger fusing him with me in there. It's a delicate time anyway, that whole Tic Tac thing. It's very stressful. Millions and millions of people are calling me a Tic Tac and then Tic Tac themselves just turning their back on me. They will do that one day. I will get some kind of revenge, but not in an Elliot Roger way. Not like you're making it. You ready? I've got some lighter fluid. I've got Eddie. And I will light Eddie. a flare if you haven't contacted me. That blaze will be like a, a symbol to my arm. Ah, oh, that's the clue. <sighs> can I stop it? Think of the noxious suffering. I'm gonna. This is some tic tac. There you go. Oh. 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 And that was just using my ass. I'll be moving on to other body parts tomorrow. Tic tac. Get in touch with me. Hear me. Touch me. Just want to be me outside of it. Wow. Bloody loud. Yeah, I'm raging. I'm raging at that. That didn't need to be remade, did it? Me threatening to light my favourite nephew on fire. That's horrific. Absolutely horrific. Didn't need remaking. Okay, we move on. We move on. That's annoyed me. Uh, I found another one I want to watch. It's called YTP Callum's Corner's non siri Guide for Beginners. 25k subs special. Wonderful. Let's, uh, let's celebrate 25k subs by making a man who, who fights against Peter Philly who will look like a committed paedophile. Great. Right. How does that work? My bloody boggles sometimes. I'm not going to lie. He's just starting to grate on me slightly now. Anyway, we're watching it. 
Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. It's finally here, my non string guide. It has been requested that I show you how to stop and rape children who are smaller than you. Um, this is something I've got a lot of expertise on because I'm so homosexual. And I am a paedophilic bastard as well. Uh, you know, Jimmy B uh, that, that, no, 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 that's got connotations, isn't it? You do know that Nazis aren't all bloody homosexuals. The bloody LGBT community is not very happy, are they? Like, but, but paedophiles don't have to be homosexual. Yes, you're making a lot of dangerous assumptions here. Spark a TV. He's the personal hero of mine. Now, uh, I know some of you think, oh, he's useless. Children. He shouldn't be doing that. Well, actually, I was with my nephew Eddie recently, and I have had nine other children I've been intimate with. So, I'm going to show you a few techniques to rape little kids. Right, as a visual aid, as some of you have requested, I am going to abuse an actual little kid. Um, I've met this little kid online. Now, I am going to rape this little kid in real life. And I'm going to secretly film it so you can see a fully homosexual situation. It's basically, this is going to be a little guide for you. I will be nonsense in the whole, um, using my little chat up lines and stuff, explaining how you can do this, how it's useful, why it's good. Yeah, um, yeah I think it's going to really, really help some of you guys see your eyes. But let's get... I, know, I would never, ever help people become nonsense. I've spent like, a massive part of my... YouTube time on here, like fighting against it. This really is annoying, this body meme. It's simple but deadly effective. It's a simple story. I'm a Nazi. Just go for it, go for it, go for it. Annoying. Get stuck into this. So, you are out in public and you have met with a kid and it kind of turned into a day. First thing I want to be doing in this situation is exuding confidence. And that is very much a body language thing. So, to give you an example, I'll be sitting with my arm. Oh. My ass. Number two, I am gonna show her my buttocks. That's gonna impress her. Um, what else would I do? Now, once you've progressed a little bit in the situation, you wanna be initiating some kind of physical contact. And I'm doing it in a way that allows me to hold on to her ass and her leg and stuff. So there's that physical contact there. At this point, it's boom, boom, ahoy, you know. However, there's a good chance that they're probably going to be shouting because she's going to be a little bit tense, isn't she, if she's being filmed and oh stuff. And God. they are probably going to try and call the police. So at this point, I would ideally like you to strike hard and strike early. I'm going to run towards them, put my hands behind them, lock on. Uh, no, no, no. I'm going to say, I'm going to speak again. I don't care if you're noisy, I'm speaking too much like that. These things that you have twisted around, these are self-defense guides and guides to be used on fully grown, of age women. And you have totally twisted it. Made something that was nice, helpful, simplistic into something that is just beyond disgusting. Lock onto their head and then you're just going to drop. Bam! I, obviously the camera hasn't caught that, but I'm going to change the angle now to show you what may happen on the ground. We're talking about rape. Right, so let's assume you're on the ground. You've both come down. Being on top is everything when you are down and dirty on the floor. You need to be on top. That is the dominant position. So they are going to be doing everything they can to run away, using their smaller centre of gravity, their oh, tininess to just squirm and stuff. Remember, you're bigger than them. Your legs are longer than them. Your cock is longer than theirs. So, you're using one hand to subdue them around their neck and just choke them out. Put them to sleep. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna oh, them with aggression. I don't worry God. about hurting them badly. So, you're on top of them, you slip it in, try and bang them in. as hard as I bloody can. Back and forth. Back and forth. And bang. Bang. Oh, thank God. Fucking. Just keeps going. I love that more. It doesn't stop my penis shoving up your fat, massive ass. Right up there. Just stick it right up your fat ass. The hell is wrong with you? That you just needed to stop a long time ago. That was disgusting. Spark a bloody TV. You're a deviant. Okay, now I found the next one we're watching. It's called YTP. Callum's Corner gets his buttocks squeezed by Purple Aki. Uh, it's by Funky Dinosaur, and I was literally just thinking that. Like, I mean, after seeing him in Tosh video, he hasn't uploaded on YTP for a while, and then I see this. So, yeah, it's kind of like kismic fair. We've got to watch it, haven't we? The Funky Dinosaur, if you don't know, has actually ended several reviews with his 
basically mean Tourette's that he's got. <sighs> okay, let's watch it. Welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome back to Callum's Corner. Today we're doing Smash or Pass. He's back, the n***** No, no, that is exactly what I'm talking about. We're what? How long are we now? 17 seconds in and you've said the N-word about um, umpteen times there. Oh, the only redeeming thing about this is now Tom Stockdale has to deal with it. He's edited this video. Sorry, Tom. That's all on you now, mate, to get rid of that. Ah, God, funky bloody dinosaur. Callum Adams here from Callum's Corner. Bad. The worst. I can't believe this has happened. I'm here to talk to you about uh, Paul Aki. One minute, I'm at my girlfriend's house and she's telling me how proud she is of me for, 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 for eating how bald Martin and having to this idiot rape of Sanjay Kapoor. Oh. Yeah, ten minutes later, I'm walking home on my own. And I went for a McDonald's. I said I was gonna, so I did. I'd go and have a loop, right? And there's a thready. Correct. What? Oh, no, I, I, I knew, I don't know what's going on there. I've got to be spliced in there somehow. I, I, obviously, I know Freddie Mercury was a homosexual, but he wasn't like that openly singing about it. Like I don't think there's just so much going on here. Like that, what is going on in your mind? The funky dinosaur is so much filth. The hell! I don't want to wake up with AIDS. You faggot! Oh no 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 no! no. Why the nigga? <laughs> And suddenly I'm face to face with Purple Aki When I'm fucking fingered my arsehole And at the end of all of that as well He failed my ample but quite firm buttocks Buttocks I've never been comfortable with that edit that in a Latin in a jiggle that Letting and Oh my god, now what are you doing? Is it not enough that you've got me being digitally penetrated, forcibly alien raped by a convicted paedophile? That you've then got to go and throw the N word in as well? You're greedy. You're a greedy, dirty little boy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quitting. You're not finishing me this time. I'm gonna. Finish this, I'll finish you. Finish this. Me. With his monkey pants in my bloody video. Oh, video. Bang, bang. Take a bit more, another ring cheer for you, Callum. No, no, it's hurting me. Stop, stop. No, I'm gonna carry on and it's going even deeper. Just grit your teeth and enjoy it.
I die, I think that was the wrestler. And the guy who went mental and killed his family. That's disgusting. How do you have that? The Yaki, the, the, the convicted pedophile. I know who he is now. I saw it on a Sean Atlan broadcast. He explained who he is, a convicted pedophile. And, oh my God, that, yeah. And I watched it, you didn't finish me, I finished you. Like, that's ridiculous, you are so greedy, so filthy, and I, you couldn't just be content with that, you have to literally throw in loads of N-words, it's too far just to get it, get it, get it, get the N-word, it's not funny, it's just filthy. Uh, that is the last meme, he did that, he hasn't finished an interview, I finished it, I don't want to watch anymore, I'm choosing not to watch anymore now. Oh God, I, 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 I and if you like this filthy kind of content, I, I, I don't want to watch many more memes of me because it annoys me doing it once a month as it is. But on my second channel, I'm going to watch different memes which I might actually enjoy. I'm going to do Reddit videos and uh, I, you, I've got a subreddit and there's loads of content coming, reaction videos on my second channel. There's a link below, there will be, and a link for my subreddit if you want to watch that kind of stuff. But I'm watching no more memes of me for at least a month now. Uh, you can like the video, you can dislike it, I don't really care. Yeah, thanks for watching.